a historic night at Ralph Ingolstead Arena tonight. Something happened there for the first time in UND hockey history. The program Deep in History has produced some of the best hockey players in the world. WDAY News reporter Matt Henson shows us why tonight's focus was not on the ice, but in the stands. How you doing, buddy? Al Pearson has been a familiar face on game night since he first enrolled at the University of North Dakota 60 years ago when he was too broke to buy a ticket. He'd wrap up a blanket and pretend it was a baby and so people would let him in. Al quickly fell in love with UND hockey and wanted to be at away games too. North Dakota, North Dakota, thanks. For 50 years, Al Pearson took busloads of UND hockey fans across the country. I, I think Al Pearson is the reason that you see so much green on the road. And when people refer to the, the phrase, always a home game, I think those things started with Al's bus and with Al's trips. And I think it's really, uh, he kind of laid the foundation for what we think is the uh, most passionate and loyal traveling fan base in college hockey. When Al came to the Ralph tonight, he was a little surprised to be greeted by rival Gopher fans. <laughs> who joined a sellout crowd of 11,000 fans to surprise Al for Al Pearson night. The Ralph even distributing his face on a stick. We realize there's some danger in it, right? You people say, well, how can you pick one person or how can you single somebody out like that? And I think tonight's the night we do it because I think he's uh, uniquely qualified to be that fan that we recognize. I think he's had an impact like no other, and I think it's appropriate for us to do it. Forming bonds with players and coaches most fans don't have. Everything he do, does for us and has done, whether it's the buses or just comes around the rink and kind of lifts guys' spirits up, uh, it's awesome, you know. says to him, you mattered. All those times you did so much for so many people. Al, who has battled Parkinson's for the past 17 years, almost missed his special night. The 85-year-old spent the past two days in the hospital with blood clots in his lungs and was released just two hours prior to the opening face-off. Al Pearson Knight has been in the works for months, but his daughter admits there were days she feared the worst. I, I can't shake the feeling that I could be sitting in the rink alone and for this night. And they said, well, don't you think that's what he'd want? Everybody there partying for him? <laughs> when the final horn does sound on Al Pearson's life, his legacy here at the Ralph will never be forgotten. They plan to place his white fighting suit cowboy hat on display in a shadow box outside of section 106, where Al has season tickets. It's really hard to think of that because when they when they do that, it means he won't be here. But to be able to see that he meant that much to so many people that they want to keep that memory alive is beyond beyond words. As the crowd gives Al a standing O for his dedication to UND hockey. In true gentleman style, Al tips his hat back to thank them for recognizing him. That will live on, and he's a story to tell for a long time. From the Ralph, Matt Henson, WDY News. knows how to party and whenever we've done a story on Al over the years we always get comments yep, yep. synonymous mm. with UND hockey and as long as there's another game to look forward to Al will likely Al be there, there yep. right <laughs> green cast at all <laughs>